Hello everyone and welcome to another Star Wars Old Republic video. This is going to be another pack opening and this video is all about Grand Chance Cubes and answering the question of whether you should open or sell them. So if you are interested in Grand Chance Cubes and you want to learn more about these things, this video is for you. Now in the background of the video, you will see me opening 200 Grand Chance Cubes in total. I open them in sets of 100 for a particular reason that I'll talk about later. Now the point of this opening is on one hand to have a very large sample size which should give you a good idea of the drop rates of rare items or in this case really any gold item could be considered rare and it gives you a really good sense of what kinds of things actually end up coming out of these packs so for the purposes of this video I have sped up the opening itself to two times the speed I have found that this speed works because you can still see the item that comes out and it also keeps the video length short and sweet but if you have any qualms with it, you thought maybe the pack opening was too fast or too slow, please leave a comment in the comment section and I will be sure to take that feedback into consideration when I'm making my next pack opening because I want to make sure you guys can still see the item that's coming out and it's not too fast for you. Now I won't be commenting too much on the items I am getting, rather I will kind of just be talking about Grand Chance Cubes in general and the various advantages and disadvantages of opening them versus selling them. For, so for those of you who are not familiar with Grand Chance Cubes, they can drop any cartel market item ever in the history of the cartel market. And they do end up dropping full armor sets, mounts, dyes, weapons, pets, and really anything under the sun. Uh, the kind of highlight there being full armor sets, which can really net you a lot of credits, and it's also great for uh, armor set collecting. Now this makes them very appealing because, as I mentioned, they can give you anything from the cartel market. So they could drop some of the really rare items. You can obtain Grand Chance Cubes themselves by opening cartel packs from the cartel market. They are essentially a pack within a pack or RNG within RNG. Once again, showing Bioware's uh, really unequivocal love for RNG. Now, they are pretty common drops from cartel packs. So if you do end up buying cartel packs, either off the GTN or from the cartel market, you can expect Grand Chance Cubes to be regular drops from them. Prior to the Revenge cartel packs, you would get on average 30 Grand Chance Cubes from a Hypercrate. However, players didn't really like this, so Bioware did end up reducing the drop rate of these things. And nowadays, Hypercrates will give you anywhere from 8 to 10 chance cubes. You can also obtain them from the GTN, where they do sell for a ton of credits. When Grand Chance Cubes were really common back a few months ago, they did sell for like 300k on average. Nowadays, you can actually sell them from anywhere, from 400 to 600k per Grand Chance Cube, depending on your server. They do indeed sell at these prices and they sell like wildfire. It is not uncommon to sell hundreds of them in a day. I have actually done this myself. They sell insanely quickly and they sell at those very high prices. I put up a video called the ultimate GTN selling machine a month or two ago where literally as I was posting the chance cubes on the GTN, they were being sold a second later. And so this really begs the question, should you sell these things or should you open them? All those people who are out there buying these, buying these Grand Chance Cube for high prices, are they secretly getting rich off of them or are they wasting their credits? That's what I kind of wanted to investigate with this pack opening. So on to the actual pack opening. For this little experiment, I assumed that on average, Chance Cubes sell for around 400,000 credits each. Therefore, I could potentially sell 100 Chance Cubes for 40 million credits. So I wanted to see whether opening 100 chance cubes and selling the contents would make me more than 40 million credits or less, or would, is it really worth it to open them? Or perhaps could you make more credits simply by selling them on the GTN and, um, and spending less time in, a, uh, in doing that? Also, for those of you who aren't so concerned with the credits and you kind of just more care about uh, opening the packs in general and having fun, well, then this video still should give you a good sense of the drop rates. And it's an excellent example of really how bad Grand Chance Cubes are with their RNG. Now, I'll talk about the good parts of Grand Chance Cubes first, because there are only a few, and then I'll start ranting about the disadvantages. Now, Grand Chance Cubes are pretty awesome because they give you full armor sets. And it's great for armor set collecting, and also full armor sets do sell for a pretty penny on the GTN, even if you're mostly getting bronze armor sets. The other good thing about Grand Chance Cubes is that they have the potential to give you some of the really old and rare items that are basically unobtainable in the game right now, like Command Thrones, Hover Chairs, Hollow Statues, and this makes the opening of Grand Chance Cubes rather fun because you never know what you might end up getting. On the flip side, as this video will demonstrate, your chances of getting this stuff is just really, really low. 
And finally, the last good thing about Grand Chance Cubes is that they are affordable for the average player. While cartel packs will sell for millions of credits on the GTN, or they will cost you a lot of cartel coins on the cartel market, Grand Chance Cubes are more affordable and even preferred players with their 350,000 credit cap might be able to pick up a few off the GTN. But now, let's talk about the disadvantages, of which there are many, and this part of the video will be closely linked to what you see on the screen. Now, Grand Chance Cubes simply drop too much junk, and you just see this time and time again as I keep getting these emotes and companion customizations. Really, it is deceiving to say that Grand Chance Cubes drop everything from the cartel market, because the majority of items that you will get from these cubes are die modules, companion customizations, toys, emotes, and bronze weapons and mounts. And while that might on the offset seem not too bad, these items, I do consider them to be bad drops because they won't net you anything on the GTN. And if you're one of those people who say, I don't care about selling on the GTN, I just want something cool, well, these are items that you can pick up off the GTN for 10 to 15K. You don't need to waste Grand Chance Cubes opening them and getting these really crappy drops. Now, I got some cool stuff like Kai Zyken's Log and the Mind Prison Spin, and these are really nice toys and emotes. And the Mind Prison Spin especially, um, is a really, really fancy emote, but they sell for almost nothing on the GTN. It's insane. The Mind Prison Spin, when I checked it price on the GTN, it was selling for 60k. And for those of you who have seen it in action, it is a really, really fancy emote. So keep in mind that every time you get something like a die or a companion customization out of a cube, that is a potential 400,000 credits minimum that you just lost, which you could have used uh, to buy a multitude of things on the GTN. And if you open a, um, a hyper crate, let's say you got 10 chance cubes, that is 4 million credits there. That can buy you a lot of really nice stuff off the GTN. And if you do open 10 chance cubes and you just get a bunch of emotes and stuff they don't sell for anything, then you've lost out on a ton of credits. Now in this pack opening, I still get a really nice pile of bronze and silver armor sets and some nice mounts as well, most of them being silver. But there were only a few and keep in mind, I am opening hundreds of these things. The vast majority of players will probably be opening close to 10 to 20 grand chance cubes at a time. So their chances of getting some really nice stuff is very, very low. Another really huge disadvantage of grand chance cubes is that their RNG always seems to be really messed up. Your chances of getting gold items are not high at all. In the first opening of 100 cubes, I did end up getting a Marsh Hunter Ackley, Thexan's Lightsaber, and a White Crystal, along with one or two other gold items. Now these drops were actually really good, but I still don't think I actually would have ended up hitting over 40 million credits selling these items. Also, I got all these items at the end, and I might just have really gotten lucky. The fact that I got only a few gold items after opening 100 chance cubes is also a testament to the very low drop rates of gold items. Um, in the second opening of 100 chance cubes, you will see that I only got one gold item, which was a terrible gold item. It was a white and pink die, which is a pretty bad drop that was selling for around 500 to 600k on the GTN. So one gold item after opening 100 chance cubes, and then in the other 100 chance cube opening, I ended up getting three or four gold items. You can see that they're not a very common drop. And, um, and for those people out there who are buying a hyper crate and they're only opening 10 to 15 chance cubes at a time, the chances of them getting a gold item is just very, very low. Another thing that kind of p pisses me off really when it comes to the RNG is when you get repeat items. So you'll see a few times in this pack opening where I get an emote twice or a toy twice, the exact same emote or toy. So in my mind, this shouldn't really be possible. If these cubes have the potential to drop literally thousands of items, because those are how many items have been available on the cartel market since its inception, then how can it possibly be that I get the same emote? It really doesn't make sense. There are hundreds of emotes. What are the chances that I get the exact same emote twice? It's just really frustrating, and it goes to show that Bioware's RNG system kind of is messed up at the moment, especially when it comes to these Grand Chance cubes. So the conclusion from my experience with these is that it's always just better to sell them. Even for those people who are like they don't really care about making credits and just want to have fun, I would suggest that you sell the cubes and just buy something nice from the GTN. You will most likely be a lot happier. Grand Chance cubes are like companion gifts and crafting materials when it comes to selling them on the GTN. They get bought in bulk. Meaning you could have like a hundred of these chance cubes posted on the GTN and you would only need a couple of people who are willing to buy them in order to sell your supply. 
This makes them awesome things to sell on GTN for credits, and I would definitely caution against opening them until Bioware does something to fix their RNG. Anyways, that's kind of the conclusion I could draw from this pack opening. I'd love to hear what you guys think about this in the comment section. I do hope you guys enjoyed this pack opening video, and I'll see you in the next one.